I find it amusing how everything is interacting with each other. My word. The release dates of the Spot Ether ETF have been pushed out to July 2nd as an update. Political existence consists of the three get-togethers, dudes. Just as the Ripple case is ready to come to a close, Bitcoin bullishness is also going to begin. Also, the season's arrival is like a calm before the storm, it's just around the corner. Listening to the feedback from staff sense issuers on S1s today, and this is our best guess for the time being, so there you have it. Pretty light stuff, nothing serious, just wanted to check in with them again in a week. I think they'll strive to make them effective the following week and get it out of the way before the holiday weekend. July 2nd, Spot Ether ETF launch after July 4th, which was interesting, but we won't get into that here. So, this was early July, folks. I have no idea what's going on, and I'm crying. It appears like our dreams have both come true, and I can genuinely cry because of it. The case finally concludes after all these years. This whole class felt like a dream, but I know it wasn't since every single cent stay calm. This is just the beginning. According to Algiers on chain, the bills are already buying big amounts in a bull market. These tips are for buying, not selling. XRP is about to explode, but the Bitcoin dominance monthly chart is at resistance. Every time we've been at this level, it has been held as resistance and then plummeted. All coins are now overpowering Bitcoin, so the chart is inverted. It's the same ingredient, though, so it's about to explode. The video ends there. Support my channel with a like and a subscription. Muchas gracias, depart. The Coin Lady channel is pleased to have you back. Dear everyone, it appears that our timing was accurate up until this point, gentlemen. The footage from today gives the impression that the time has come. Here we are in the quiet before the tempest. This is the calm before the storm, folks, because something completely unexpected has emerged. To kick things off, the Algren wallet is apparently getting ready for more Miko regulation when it goes live, and an additional 300 million USDT minutes will add unknown wall scars. Therefore, additional gods will be printed. I see, is a massive pump in our future. Can it be? If only. Very much so. This also occurs simultaneously, dudes. In regards to the Terraform Labs consent judgment, the SEC has replied to Ripple's letter. This is apparently enormous, you guys. I see. Consequently, I read some of this. Here it states that it also argues that the court should impose the same ratio between the size of the terraform punishment and the amount of the defendant Rosales. Right now. To me, it has always been about the Federal Reserve. So it doesn't matter what anybody says. That doesn't matter. The case will end around the same time the Fed cuts interest rates. Look at what's coming to pass. It's going to end soon, isn't it? They say that's because down here. If the court grants the sex request to deter, the resulting fine will be far higher, $2.6 million, or over $100 million, than the $10 million cap that ripples through the system. I see. Anna said earlier, the goals of the civil penalty status cannot be met with such a small punishment. So, there you have it, folks, statutes. Did they say anything? They dropped $250 million from $2 billion. So, it seems like settlement is on the way. Am I correct? Alternately, would that be the bare minimum, $100 million? At last, at last, to feel adequate. The interesting part, is that someone sat down here and mentioned something about $100 million, and it was Attorney Jeremy. Am I correct? This is really ridiculous, you guys, since Terraform Labs is in a whole other ballgame, you know. The wave is and now. I will lay out my strategy. Are all of you prepared for this? Am I correct? Look, no one else is prepared, either. It is making me really happy. I find this quite strange. Within the next few months, the Federal Reserve will be lowering interest rates. 
The XRP chart appears to be really explosive. Very well. This isn't a squandering of funds, everyone. This is not a financial advisory, folks. However, this is what transpires, in my feeble view. Very well. This is where the Federal Reserve makes its cuts, folks. So it's September, according to everyone. At the top of the next quarter, I think the Federal Reserve will lower interest rates, whatever they call it, during the recess. Absolutely not. In all likelihood, the case's resolution will coincide with the Federal Reserve's rate cut. However, I don't think it will take until September, does it? Therefore, July is the opinion of some, isn't it? Something recently broke, therefore I'm considering August as a potential emergency rate drop. However, everything occurs simultaneously about this moment. Am I correct? Thus, it's the quiet before the storm, isn't it? I am filled with joy. I am totally psyched. The case must be resolved. Plus, the XRP pumpers, you know, the fact that this is all leading up to the upcoming season is hilarious to me. Peculiar and unexplained, would you agree? Right now, XRP is really cheap, isn't it? Check this out. Brad Garlin Howes himself admits as much. The peculiar situation in which XRP finds itself is perplexing to me. In a way, the market has rewarded that subsequent novel. That XRP is currently in an advantageous position, but the market has failed to recognize this. You want to know why Brad Garlin is in his house? It's because your bots are lowering the price of XRP. So, when the regulars give you the go-ahead to activate the buy bots, it's easy for me to understand 